Hi friends. How are you? Welcome to channel No. So, let's know something, which is knowledgeable and also interesting. The festivals. A place, where people looking to have a great time, to dance, celebrate, party, and have fun. They happen all over the world, for many different reasons and religions. Every festival brings our life into a state of cheerfulness and enthusiasm. Festivals also give an important message to every human to approach life. Festivals are best at bringing people together and celebrating the best things in life. Here are the top magical and unmissable festivals in the world. Number 10, Harbin International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival, China. It is the largest ice and snow festival in the world, takes place in Harbin province of China. This festival is officially held from January 5th to February 5th, every year. The festival features an international competition of ice and snow sculptures, illuminated buildings made from huge ice blocks, winter swimming in Songhua River, ice lantern show, ice sailing, and speed skating. As Harbin City generally has Arctic-like climate, it offers plentiful natural ice and snow, recognized as the cradle of ice and snow in the country. This festival also promotes tourism in Harbin City, attracts thousands of foreign visitors every year. Ice and Snow World opens at night, with colorful lights illuminating full-sized buildings, made of two to three foot ice blocks taken from the river. The festival attracts artists from all around the world, to compete and showcase their works. Every year there is a new theme, with over 200,000 cubic meters of snow and ice used for the festival. The Ice and Snow Festival remains the highlight and most beloved ice event, in the country, as well as one of the best winter festivals in the world. Number 9, The Songkran Water Festival, in Thailand. Songkran is the traditional Thai New Year, that is celebrated in this holiday paradise with all pomp and show. One of the most fun spring festivals around the world, Songkran is celebrated by splashing water on your family members, friends, and anyone around, as it's considered to bring good fortune. This festival is celebrated on April 13th, which lasts through April 15th. Mornings often start with visiting local Buddhist temples to offer food to the monks. Water is often poured on statues of the Buddha in a symbolic purification ritual. Family members who have moved away will often return home for the holiday to pay tribute to their ancestors. People clean their houses in preparation, and everyone dresses up in their best clothes. But the main reason Songkran is known outside of Asia is the wet, wild celebration in Thailand, especially Chiang Mai. There, most of the major streets are closed off to traffic and packed with young people for what is likely the world's biggest water fight. Water balloons or super soakers are a given, and getting drenched is guaranteed. Over 4 million tourists, will flock to Thailand, to take part in the Songkran Water Festival. Number 8. The Lantern Festival in Taiwan. It is one of the most important events in Taiwan, which held on the first full moon night of every lunar year. The Pink Sea District of Taiwan, decorated with thousands of sky lanterns lights, during this festival. The main lantern at the festival, has a theme of the Chinese zodiac sign of the respective year. The large lantern installations show resemblance to many animals like dragons, dinosaurs, and butterflies. At the same time, the smaller lanterns represent the most important historical events. The celebrations of this festival also include, lantern making, lantern riddle games, and firework displays. Participants scribble their innermost desires, onto paper, or even silk lanterns, sending them off to be embraced by the night sky. With over 80,000 in attendance, the Pink Sea Lantern Festival is easily the most recognized lantern festival celebration, throughout Asia. You will find yourself awestruck as you witness, thousands of sky lanterns, light up the night sky of the town. Number 7. The Carnival of Venice, in Italy. Venice Carnival dates all the way back to the 11th century, but came to international acclaim in the 18th century. During the weeks dedicated to Carnival, each year, thousands of tourists and locals, 
take to the streets in beautiful costumes and masks, to enjoy music, dancing, parties, and the festive atmosphere. Today, Carnival is one of the huge celebrations in Venice, a two-week-long grand event. People put on masks at the event, and throws perfumed eggs, at other people. The Carnival also presents several distinct styles of masks. The Venetian mask makers also have a special position in the community. Carnival of Venice also includes concerts, different types of street performances, and candlelit boat parade. When the parades take to the streets of Venice, there really is only one way they can do it and that's by gondola. It's a stunning spectacle that defies description and one you just can't afford to miss. Of all the carnivals held in the world, the Carnival of Venice is by far the most elegant and undoubtedly the most sophisticated. Number 6. The Mardi Gras, in the United States. A French Catholic tradition, and now America's version of Carnival, Mardi Gras is one part masquerade ball, one part parade, and one part pub crawl. Much like Carnival in Brazil, Mardi Gras in New Orleans takes place right before Lent. Parades, music, drinking, costumes, New Orleans has it all. Over 1.2 million people visit the city each year, to take part in the festivities, three times the population of New Orleans itself. In fact, Mardi Gras is the most attended annual event in the entire country. The first Mardi Gras took place in 1699, and the party, has been going strong ever since. When Mardi Gras takes over the streets of New Orleans for two whole weeks, it's the carnival, to rival all carnivals. Make sure, you've got your best fancy dress costumes with you, because Mardi Gras is all about dressing up. Be as wild and as exaggerated as you can imagine. Mingle among the crowds thronging the streets, follow the parades, dance the hours away to live music and marching bands, then put your best foot forward at a masquerade ball. But don't forget, there's only one rule for Mardi Gras and that's a party until you drop. Number 5. The Oktoberfest, in Munich, Germany. Oktoberfest is the largest fun fair in the world that takes place in Munich city of Germany, during the last week of September to the first weekend of October. Every year more than 6 million people around the world attend Oktoberfest. These festivals also includes attractions like amusement rides, games, and a variety of traditional food, for visitors. Once upon a time in 1810, a German crown prince married his princess. The kind royals had invitations for all the townspeople of Bavaria to enjoy, and everyone had so much fun, they decided to do it all again next year, and the year after that. Thus Oktoberfest was born. Soon, the tradition became what is today one of the biggest folk festivals in the world. Every year more than 7 million liters of beers, are consumed by the guests during Oktoberfest. Boasting over 80 plus rides, 14 extravagant beer tents, and more food than you can eat in, apart from going from one beer tent to another, you can witness the grand parade, and enjoy amazing rides. Number 4. The Lato Matina, in Bunuel, Spain. Lato Matina festival held on last Wednesday of every August in Bunuel town of Spain. During this event participants around the world, throw tomatoes on each other. Every year 100 metric tons of tomatoes are thrown during the festival, in the streets of Bunuel. Launched way back in 1945, Lato Matina is one of the oldest festivals. It's also easily the messiest, coming off like the world's biggest food fight. The week-long, Lato Matina festival also features music, dance, parades, and fireworks. At that time, the number of trucks will arrive at the street, and provide tomatoes in abundance. For one hour, 20,000 people engage in a tomato fight. Tens of thousands of participants come from all over the world, to fight in this giant food fight. The whistle blows and the tomatoes fly. It's fun, it's sturdy, it's the food fight we all dreamed about as a child. Just make sure, to bring some goggles. The streets end up looking like the tomato soup factory. At the end of the hour, fire trucks hose down water, to clean people, and the streets. This fruity food fight festival promises, a great time and lots of red colored memories to take back home. 
Number 3. The Burning Man Festival, in Nevada, United States. Burning Man is a week-long annual event, takes place in the Black Rock Desert of Nevada in U.S. This globally popular event took its name, from the burning of large wooden sculpture. Every year, the Burning Man Festival, starts on the last Monday of August and ends on the first Monday of September. Every year more than 50,000 people gathered together for this event. Burning Man started in 1986, when Larry Harvey and his buddy Jerry James, assembled an 8-foot-tall makeshift wooden figure, and dragged it to San Francisco's Baker Beach on the summer solstice. They lit it on fire, a curious crowd of around 20 people watched it burn, and thus one of the world's weirdest, wildest parties was born. Participants of the festival, show off different works of art, create a temporary city, make friends, and hang out together. A great variety of arts appears during the Burning Man Festival, found as a gift from artists to the community. The art section of the festival includes small to large scale installations. The mutant vehicles are another important attraction of the Burning Man Festival, stunningly and permanently modified motorized vehicles. During this one week duration, a temporary city is built, that brings the Black Rock Desert of Nevada, to life. Number 2. The Rio Carnival, from Rio de Janeiro. Rio Carnival is considered the biggest carnival in the world, a five-day-long celebration, held on 40 days before Easter, every year. Rio Carnival officially starts on Friday and ends on Fat Tuesday, the day before the start of Lent. There are around 2 million people on the street, in Rio de Janeiro during this carnival. People can sing, dance, and have lots of fun during the Rio Carnival. Samba parades are one of the most important events, of Rio Carnival, which features more than 200 Samba schools. The participants of Samba parades have to pick up specific themes, music, lyrics, and costumes. Every group has to follow a specific order and to present choreographed dance in fancy costumes. Apart from the Samba parade, the carnival is also known for the numerous balls that take place all over Rio de Janeiro, where you can flaunt all your classic moves. There's no carnival like Rio's carnival. In fact, it is almost impossible to think of Brazil's capital city without thinking of its carnival. Rio de Janeiro presents one of the most interesting and well-attended cultural celebrations around the world. The atmosphere of the city gets so magical, that even the non-dancers, find themselves swaying their hips to the rhythm. After all, it wouldn't simply earn the title of the greatest show on earth. And, the number one. The Holi, the Festival of Colors, in India. Holi is known as the Festival of Colors celebrated by Hindus, all over Asia. This spring festival is mainly observed in India. Holi is regarded as one of the most important and vibrant festivals in India. This festival commemorates the victory of good over evil. Holi also marks the arrival of spring, a season of hope and enjoyment. The tradition of colors in the Holi festival, linked with stories of Lord Krishna, who play parks on his beloved Radha, by drenching her in colors and water. Holi celebrated on the day after the full moon, in March of every year. The celebrations of the Holi festival start with the burning of Holika, represent the death of evil. Everyone loves to drench others, with colored water and dry powder, at the time of Holi. Colored water filled balloons and water guns are also used, by the people for a water fight during the Holi festival. People also visit the houses of their friends and relatives, and share sweets and foods. For locals and tourists, Holi offers a chance, to play, dance, and sing, without a care in the world. People spend the day smearing richly colored powder on strangers, friends, and relatives. Holi is the most amazing religious festival, around the world that can be enjoyed by anyone. From children to adults, the Indian festival is enjoyed by everyone.
I hope, you enjoyed every festival in the world with us, for more such enjoyment, subscribe to the channel now.